in the previous lessons we learned about how to make your swiper geo slider how to add the navigations and pagination how to make it responsive and now in this lesson we are going to learn how to make it cms based and that's really really easy uh, so let's create a cms collection first so let's say that uh, we just need the name of the the slide and we want some text and let's say that this is brief multi-line let's create and create the collection sorry let's give it a name like um slider or slides or a slide right give it a name slide save changes and let's create five simple slides so i'm just opening lorem ipsum okay let's copy this text and let's create slide one create let's duplicate this one which is slide two slide three let's have at least uh, five slides um, slide four and the last one is slide five okay okay so now we have a collection list in which we have five items so now we will no longer use these images so i am just removing all these slides and also the the image let's add a heading make it h2 and also add a paragraph and this looks good so let's just add a div block which is swipers spacer small right to add a spacing between the heading and the paragraph okay so for this swi swiper slide, um, I think uh, in, in the last video, we when we were talking about responsiveness, so we are uh, m making it responsive through ratios, right? So I, I would say let's make it um, slide or view. Let me just double check if I have used the correct name of the property. Slides per view. And let's make it three. Okay. I think this looks perfect. Yeah, this looks perfect. Okay. And or let's make it yeah let's let's keep it like this let me just design the the slide and we can then remove this uh, 40 percent because we are controlling it uh, through the number of slides inside the script so we do not need this percentage but i just um, want to um, design it a little bit so that let's make it 1.5 rims and let's make it also 1.5 yeah this looks good let's give it a border yeah that's correct i think this looks good let's add some more spacing 2.5 rims 2.5 shift enter and this looks good so now let's add a cms item So I'm just adding a collection list and 
so this will be so so this collection list also have um three um one is the wrapper one is the list and one is the item so this will be swiper this will be swiper wrapper and this will be swiper slide so let's give it the same name swiper is gallery yeah swiper and is gallery let's make it swiper wrapper and is gallery and this one is swiper slide and is gallery okay and also let's just move this okay before moving these elements let's just connect it with the collection and now let's move this heading into this slide the spacer and now this paragraph okay and also we need to move this spacer and also these buttons because we do not want these to be removed so now this has been replicated now we can remove this static slider and we can connect the heading with the cms that's connected with the name and let's connect this one with the brief right and we can sort this uh, sort this list so we can say that sort it with created on oldest to newest so this is the oldest one so we created slide number one and then slide two and three so this looks all good and now we can remove this uh, percentage <clears throat> yeah so let's publish and see what are the results okay looks like this is not working let me just double check looks like this is not connected to the script okay swiper and swiper wrapper swiper is gallery okay i get it the reason is because we implemented the previous static slider using the attributes and we have not transferred these attributes to this, to this new cms slider because we are not uh, selecting the slider using classes so we are select we have to select the slider using the attribute so let's just copy this attribute and let's paste it add this um, to this specific um, class so let's just add the attribute there so we do not need the value we just need the attribute so now let's publish and let's take a look at it okay so let's refresh the page yeah this looks perfect this looks perfect i can swipe and now i can see the the pagination and the navigation is also working and connected to the slider and this is a cms based slider so let's add a new item let's go to the slides i'm just duplicating this one let's make it slide six and let's make this one to slide seven another duplication yeah so now let's publish and now we will be able to see the new slides 
refresh the page. Now you will see the bullets increases and we can also see the slide six and slide seven. So this is connected to the CMS and it's working great.